Hi, my name is Pre, and today I will be talking about discrimination and just being defined by your qualities. Wouldn't it be lovely to, be, to live in a world completely free of inequality and discrimination? A world where females were given just as many opportunities and rights as males? A world where all sexualities were normalized? A world where humans of all races and ethnicities were treated the same way? Over 2.7 billion women don't have the same work opportunities as men, with laws restricting the types of jobs they can do. 61% of bisexual women experience rape, physical violence, or stalking by an intimate partner. Black males have a 2.5% higher chance of being killed than white males, and 1.4% for black females. Think about a time when you were treated differently, or a time when you felt uncomfortable or even fear to embrace a part of you and your emotions during that time. Isn't it the most toxic and mentally degrading thing ever? Surely, some of you would have experienced this more frequently than others, and some of you might have never even experienced such a thing. However, it is likely that those of you who have will have to experience it again, and those of you who haven't will have to experience it for the first time one day if we continue to let these unacceptable acts carry on. Katherine Johnson was an African-American woman who worked as an extremely bright mathematician for NASA. She played a crucial role in numerous NASA missions, including the space race between 1955 and 1975. Eventually, at the age of 97, the former president, Barack Obama, awarded her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. However, her rise to success wasn't at all an easy ride. Johnson had always had an, an intelligent mind that by the time she was 10, she was already a high school freshman. She graduated from school at 14 and from college at 18. This was an exceptionally amazing accomplishment for her, as back in those times, women, especially African-Americans, didn't have any access to education. Only if you were lucky enough you, would you be able to attend schools that normally stopped at eighth grade. As she proceeded to join NASA, she faced both gender and racial discrimination. For years, she was separated from the main working team, along with the rest of the, of the black women who worked there, and had to fight especially hard to get a promotion. Not only was she not allowed to attend most important business meetings, but she was also expected to keep her head down and not talk unless she was talked to by these superior white men. Moreover, there were separate cafeterias, toilets, and even coffee pots, believe it or not, for the blacks. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Although it is extremely courageous and inspiring that people like Katherine Johnson and Martin Luther King to have spoken up and used their voices for a greater cause, people shouldn't have to fight for basic human rights and acceptance. Think about everything else we could have accomplished had we not the obstacle of discrimination. It is time that we change this once and for all, starting off by changing our mindset. Discrimination is taught. Society influences us. We just have to not let it get to us and change our perception of people. Everyone should be equal and everyone deserves respect. We have to educate ourselves, those around us, and raise awareness about how unacceptable it is to view others as anything but equal to you. Don't be a bystander and call out offensive jokes. Report them online because they're obviously not funny and shouldn't be normalized. The more we let stuff like this pass, the more people will think that it is acceptable and appropriate to joke about these matters. Most importantly, embrace your beauty and strength despite what anyone may think. We've got the power to change our society for the better. 
slowly but steadily we are getting somewhere as more and more people are starting to be aware of this global issue of inequality and taking steps to alter our views. We now have to continue this journey forward and believe that we will reach our goal in the near future. In the words of Tom Brady, we didn't come this far to only come this far, so we've still got further to go. Thank you.